Hi everyone, welcome all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Sarnani's YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about the graph of modulus function, graph of modulus function. So if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe this channel and share with your friends as I am going to cover entire syllabus of engineering maths without skipping a single topic, without skipping a single topic, modulus function. So modulus function is very very important from exam point of view because there are lot of questions asked in different different exams from this question. From this topic there are lot of questions that we have. We will solve those questions also. Okay. Especially in gate they ask lot of problems. So what is modulus function? It is defined as y is equal to this mod of x absolute value of x and it can be also written as square root of x square it can be also written as square root of x square square root of x square so if you put any value here any value of x here then answer will be always positive if you put minus 1 it will return you as 1 minus 2 it will return you as 2 minus 3 3 plus 1 is 1 plus 10 is 10 whatever value you put it will give you the absolute value it will give you the absolute value so you can even write it as when you are substituting a positive value inside this you are substituting a positive value this is positive right if it is sin x also mod of sin x then if you are substituting values which are positive and sin x is positive then it will return x as it is if you are substituting 3 answer is 3 if you are substituting 10 answer is 10 if you are substituting 100 answer is 100 but if you are substituting negative values if you are substituting negative values then it will give you a positive answer but how if you are putting minus 10 it will give you 10 so it will give you minus of that x if you are putting minus 100 it will give you minus of minus 100 that is plus 100 okay so if you are putting positive values then x will come out as it is. If you are putting negative value, it will come out as minus x. It will come out as minus x. Okay. So that is the definition of modulus function. Definition of modulus function. Now, if you want to plot it, you want to plot it. Then it says this y. This is x. So it will look something like this. If you plot it. So y equal to x line we have already covered linear function. So this is the line which is passing through origin and you can see slope is 45 degree and y equal to minus x is this line. This is y equal to minus x line. This is y equal to x line. y equal to minus x line. Okay. Now this is the graph. Now you can see it is a, uh, again you can discuss about those details which we have studied. Right. So, what is the domain of this function? So, it does not have any problem to take any value. So, domain is the entire real number x. All real numbers it can accept. All x's, all values of x it will accept. What is the range? Range you can see it cannot take a negative value. Graph is lies above x axis. As graph lying above x axis, so range is not r. It is actually it is taking 0 and it is going till infinity. So, range is 0 to infinity. What is the minimum value of this function? Yes, minimum value exists and that is nothing but 0. Minimum value is y0. And what is maximum value? Maximum value is a very large number which does not exist. So, what is maximum value? Is y infinity that is does not exist. It is a continuous function. Yes, it is a continuous function. Because there is no break in the graph, so it is a continuous function. It is a continuous function. Clearly, now if you can see it is increasing in when x starts from 0 to plus infinity, 0 till plus infinity, and when it starts from minus infinity to 0, when it starts from minus infinity to 0, it is decreasing. So, you can see that it is decreasing when minus infinity to 0, 0 you can include or exclude. And it is increasing in 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, right. 
and in differentiation i will discuss that differentiation nothing but slope of tangent differentiation at a point is nothing but slope of tangent it is different actually everywhere same tangent unique tangent unique tangent and it is defined it is 10 135 minus 1 10 45 1 so everywhere when x is greater than 0 slope is 1 everywhere when x is less than 0 slope is minus 1 it is always defined only to x equal to 0 there are two slopes there are two tangents there are two tangents and there is a sharp corner you can see it is sharp corner At sharp corner function is not differentiable. We will not discuss that. I will discuss that thing. But just you can see that it is not differentiable at x equal to 0. It is not differentiable at x equal to 0. It is not differentiable at x equal to 0. Okay. So now suppose if you have a function which is y is equal to mod of ax plus b. Then you can plot graph of this also. So this will become 0 at x equal to minus b by a. This will become 0 at x equal to what, what I want to see. I want to see when it will be positive. If you take positive input, answer will be positive. If you take negative input, it will be negative of that. Your answer is always positive. So when this will become 0. So ax plus b, ax plus b will be 0 at x equal to minus b by a. So, if you plot this, if you plot this curve, general curve, so you can see that actually it starts from, it does not start from x equal to 0, it starts from some x equal to minus b by a, start from some x equal to minus b by a. So, here it is 0. When you put a value of x which is more than minus b by a then answers will be you are putting the positive value so answer will come out positive this is again a line y is equal to plus ax plus b and y is equal to minus ax plus b is this line okay so this is the graph of this function the graph of this function okay and it is not differentiable at x equal to minus b by a there is sharp corner so it is differentiable everywhere except x equal to minus b by a so non-differentiable here Differentiation we will discuss just for your information, non differentiable and it is continuous everywhere. So, you can write a modulus function is a continuous function, it is continuous in their entire domain, entire domain R, but it is not differentiable at x equal to, even it is differentiable everywhere except x equal to minus b by a or x equal to 0. So, I hope this is clear to all of you, okay. Thank you for watching the videos.